What's up guys, it's Kevin from K-Square Fitness. Today I'm gonna be breaking down the hollow body hold. All right guys, I'm gonna walk you through one of the most important positions in everything that we do. The stronger your core is, the stronger everything else is gonna be. The stronger everything else is gonna be, the more weight you're gonna be able to do, the more weight you can do, the more demand you can have on your body. So it all, for me, starts at core strength. So we're gonna break down the hollow body. Let me see if you have the, the ability to arch your back, roll your pelvis, arch your back, roll your pelvis. Hollow body to me means when your ribs are locked down, your core is turned off without any, any um, space in your lower back. So everyone I know can get into this position. The next phase of that would be to bring in your knees where you're still tight here. If my knees are up and my back is down, I've got already a little bit of arch, nothing is going on. I'm not getting any core work. But as soon as I get into this position, this is stronger. The next phase, we'll go leg out, so long as I don't get any arching here. So pull that back down, this guy here. This is where most of you guys will be, where your glutes are squeezed, my core is turned on, I'm up as high as I can without any of this business here. If you're doing a hollow body like this, nothing is happening except for compressing in your spine. So full extension of hollow body looks like this. I'm locked down here, my glutes are squeezed, my hands are behind my ears. This is a full expression of hollow body. This is one level down, probably what most of you guys will be doing. This helps train my ribs to be down. That's the hollow body hold, get after it. 